Hey, what's up guys, I'm Ray Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Found 4, as we are playing as the Nordic Empire. So today's episode might be a little bit shorter, I'll try and record as long as I can. I am short on time. So I did change up this army here, so the Red Army is the army that was assigned over here this whole time, and still kind of is assigned over there. We have a few units still there, and uh, added all the infantry units that were there, uh, that are over here, into that army. And then we have the Marines, they're still the Blue Army. And we're going to be evacuating them once we get the rest of these troops over here. So still just kind of waiting. Uh, we do have control of multiple ports on this side now. We got that tank development. Excellent. Well, we do want this one here as it improves the anti-air, anti-tank, and artillery in areas where they do best. So air attack for anti-air, hard attack for the anti-tanks, and soft attack for the artillery. So we do want that because it's a very nice modifier. Uh, we need to get this one first so we can get that uh, experience the land air and naval doctrine bonus and then we can get the research slot as soon as we've gotten this one over here so basically we're looking at two 70 day focuses before we can get our last research and then of course you got that 70 day focus as well before you can get that uh, research slot all right so with the fleet here see where we want to put them. So this is a uh, river, so this is a good place for us to defend. And so now we're going to want to move over to this province. Uh, so we're going to move the tanks. They've done their job here. And so now we're going to create a new front over here. And they're going to advance this way. So now that we have this red army here, we're going to want to change their color up again. I'm just kind of going to move the colors around a little bit. So they can be green, I suppose. And then what we can do is make these guys so we don't have multiple green armies. We're going to make them purple. They're the ones that are over here. So just keep changing their colors up so we don't get them too mixed up. Tanks will be green. So the tanks are going to move over here, and then we'll try and break through this area here. Still letting those tanks train up. Yeah, as we get these troops here and they fill this in, we'll get rid of the, uh, the marine army once we have enough troops. Alright, so the tanks are here. Uh, we want to let them get a little bit of planning bonus, and then we'll attack that tank unit and go after that port they have here. And uh, did sink another German submarine here. And they're engaging our own troop convoys here, so that's one negative. So what we might want to do is go ahead and have them do the, uh, the strike force so that they'll engage and protect those troop convoys and hopefully get them sunk because, yeah, we're losing uh, convoys due to the submarines here. So we're going to get those guys engaged so that they flee. But yeah, we still took the losses, unfortunately. Because, you know, they, they put the submarines back out here as soon as I started moving troops around. So yeah, not how we wanted that to go down. And then we'll put them back out there eventually. For right now, they can stay on their current mission. But yeah, once we are ready to do this attack here, we'll put them over here. And for now, they can just kind of help out in any uh, engagements that happen there. Seems that all of our troops have gotten across, but yeah, we took some heavy casualties because of that. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Those are all the troops that were coming from over here, from Finland. And so yeah, we took some losses there. So they'll have to re uh, replace those, those casualties. I think this unit's the one that got hit. So you might want to do with this guy, because you know he's, yeah, he's going to be in a bad position at this point. You might want to just put him over here. And his own little separate army. And then just let him train once he, uh, yeah, because he's going to be in a bad position there. Once he gets his manpower and his equipment, he'll need more experience. Did sink another submarine there and another one here. So we're seeing a lot more success by our naval bombers. So we'd like to get some more out there, uh, which we actually do have an air wing that's done. So let's go and get them placed. Uh, we'll put them right here. And so far, no uh, no fighters in any of these air zones from the Germans. Nope. Okay, so that's good news. And then we'll also want to put some more planes over here for our own offensive that we're going to be uh, kicking up here in a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and give them a bit more support because we have close air support here so let's get them doing close air support and then we might have some that are done training over here we do 
So let's get them doing close air support. And then clearly need more fighters as well. I don't know if we've got any trained up anywheres. No, not currently. Okay, well you don't need to have this many over here. So let's move these guys. As of right now, they haven't been putting any planes in the air to challenge us. But clearly, we need to get some more planes training. Yeah, I'll get these Valkyries out there. Because we could use several more air wings. Now this is requiring a lot of manpower. We still have the, the manpower issues. Those aren't going to go away, though we see we're, we're building up ever so slowly. So we clearly have more manpower. Uh, so these guys are ready. Let's go ahead and now take the fleet and put them out here so they can help us out. So now that they're out there, and let's see what happened over here. So they'd engage some more of our convoys, but those were not troop convoys, I don't think. And then let's go ahead and do our attack. Well, we gotta defend first. So now let's launch our attack. And we will support that attack. And I think the Marines can now leave. Yeah, the Marines are good to go. So let's go ahead and get rid of, almost got rid of all their orders. We don't wanna do that. We actually have an evasion here. We want them to do. Hmm. They're likely going to get engaged out here, though we are sinking a lot of submarines. But yeah, they could get engaged out here, and we currently have these guys providing bombardment support. So what you could do is have these guys come out and then put them back on the, uh, the strike force, just in case. Because, yeah, they're likely going to attack us with their submarines. And you know what, I think we're gonna actually turn these guys on high risk. Just to make sure they engage out there. I feel like we have enough air support where high risk isn't really gonna be high risk. So let's see if these guys can make it out there without getting attacked. Uh, we did win here, let's go and now grab the airbase, which is what we're really trying to get here. These tanks are nice and fast. Exactly what we designed them to do. We'll fill that in now. Uh, they do have a, a province here that's across the river, so let's go ahead and take that. Uh, we could even cross the river ourselves because there's nobody there to stop us, so might as well. So right now we're gonna launch this invasion here just to see what kind of success we can have. Because I'd prefer to cut these guys off. Uh, would be the best way to do it. At least take this and like fortify it that we don't have a port here, so you have to build one. Unless you can get across the river, but then you can't use the river bonus. But yeah, we're gonna do another invasion there, that's the point. Uh, so we got those signal companies, all right, excellent. Uh, so now we just need to start getting the, the passive modifiers. Uh, so you don't actually have to research any more companies. We could use MPs, I suppose, but uh, yeah, there's stuff we, we need far more. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the engineer companies. We're just so, so behind there. And that's actually the last thing we need for this unit, is a signal company, so let's go ahead and save that. So I think that's it. That's all we needed to, to adjust right now. Uh, we could go ahead and deploy these two units here. Can we get any more Marines? We cannot. So I get those into the, uh, the training army here. So we got Marines and tanks training. All right, so we're also going to win here. And let's just keep on pushing forward here. Though I wonder if they can get behind here. It almost seems like you can, like that uh, connects right there. And I'm gonna see if we can't cut somebody off right here. And so you gotta attack them to lock them down. And then get here and here. Tanks should hopefully get there first. Yeah, so now they have to retreat to there and then have this unit attack as well and the tank will assist them bring this guy in here and then he'll go here bring this guy over here so we can't get there in time looks like they did get some of them out but we cut two divisions off okay so not too bad yeah we need to work on cutting off german troops and wiping them out we did sink another submarine there excellent 
So we did not look at the cash deeds last episode. I keep forgetting. This one I'll look at them though. And we'll be able to see all the ones that we kill on this invasion here. So yeah, they can attack across here. Okay, that's what I was thinking. All right, so where do we want to use the tanks next? I guess we can just get up to the river at the very least here. We don't have a lot of troops over here, guys. Still have that uh, shortage of uh, troop numbers. So 21 days is what we need to, to work on here. We don't have all these guys assigned, do we? Yeah. Okay, so 21 days to do that, and Iran did join the Axis. Okay, not surprising at all. All right, so these guys are not going to be as useful anymore. Yeah, because we're not going to get any more barber bonuses unless we went over here. But uh, I think we're going to go ahead and put them onto... Well, they're already on the strike force. Okay, so actually we want them to come over here and then put them on strike force. There we go. Beautiful. So that'll be their base of operations, that level 10 port that we have. All right, so how do we want to go about doing this? I'm going to see if I can't get behind them here. Uh, clearly, we're having some supply issues. I think that might just be because we haven't uh, seized control. Yeah. It's because we have supply hubs. Do we have them all set? We do not. Let's make sure we're making use of the full motorization priority. But yeah, still having some, some issues here. Probably because we also are getting some uh, support from our allies. So they're bringing troops over here and that's going to cause us some problems. Because yeah, I wanted to do an attack here and then get across here with the attempt to uh, keep these guys locked in here. In fact, we might want to let that guy leave before we do the attack here. All right, so we got one more unit coming over this way. Make sure we don't lose that. And I suppose we can attack across that river since there's... Nope, we can't go that way. Never mind then. All right, so if he can get across this river here in just a couple hours. And then this guy is going to be over there in 12 hours, so we'll let him leave. We're going to need to attack here to make sure nobody else leaves. And looks like we're actually winning that attack. We don't even want to win it. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go the way I wanted. All right, so that's a shame. Yeah, we're, we're actually defeating those units. Okay, so that did not go well. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, we won it, so that's what matters, but not what I was uh, trying to do there, guys. We can try and attack here now. Nope, not going to win that. All right, so we did win there as well. Now we're up on the defense. We got some good river locations for defending. And we need to get control of this supply hub here, as well as this one. As you can see, that supply is an issue over here. So getting any of these hubs would do the trick for us. We did sink another German submarine. Engaging a ton of their freight convoys now. Alright, so that's excellent news. We still have not seen the whole any troops back here, unfortunately. Uh, these guys could train up first. And we could even send them more troops. You know, I feel like we need all the bonuses we can get, so let's let them train before we send them. Before we open up another front. I think that'd be wise. And then, do we want to get those other two tank units right now? Let's just, let's just wait. We got all these tanks training up currently. Let me see where the manpower is going to go. I want to keep at least 50,000 to replace like casualties and then of course you got to get planes and ships and all that kind of good stuff. Speaking of ships, we do have a submarine here that we can throw into uh, one of these task force. Let's see how we're doing in the sky, make sure that uh, we're still controlling all these air zones, which we are. Uh, this is a smaller air base, but there is still room, so let's go ahead and put, since they're not contending here with us, I say we put another close air support. And we know we have those. Or maybe not. Yeah, because we got the 300 over there. Because if we're going to let them train, then yeah, we don't have any uh, spare ones. And we do have this overstaffed, so you're going to get a bit of a penalty there. So maybe we should start putting them over here now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that because we don't have to worry about them attacking us over here anymore. So now let's go ahead and get some more 
more air wings, particularly close air support. And I suppose those naval bombers too. Here's another close air support. And then uh, maybe one more fighter air wing here. Get them training. I need to get one of these supply hubs. I feel like this is gonna be the easiest one to get. So let's go ahead and change up the tanks to only be right here. And then let's also make sure, oh, it looks like I grabbed the, one, the wrong one there. There we go, beautiful. And then let's also make sure they're getting a, a planning bonus too. While they sit there. All right, excellent. So tanks will move over here and then we'll attempt to attack this way. So Iran has joined the Axis and is thus gonna have to go to war with the, the British. Oh, Iraq is in there too. Okay, so you have Iran and, and Iraq in there. And so now the British are gonna join through this way. And it seems like they're gonna be splitting this territory with the Soviets. Soviets have pushed forward a little bit here, I see. So just opening up more fronts, more enemies. When we haven't even finished up on the fronts we're currently on, though we are seeing some movement, some success here. I think us opening up a new front here has likely helped. And they are launching their own attacks here. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna achieve any success on these. I think we got a pretty good front lock down here. These guys are supposed to be training. This will make that happen. One thing we could do, since we're training these anyways, is go ahead and have them join that army now with the Marines and just train over there. Yeah, I suppose that works out fine. Sunk four more of those freight convoys. All right, so tanks are on their way over there. And then we'll attack over here and try and get control of that uh, supply hub. Though it is better defended than it was before. Let's take a look at the resources. It's just the two aluminum currently. so not that big of an issue. Yeah, they're attacking across the river. Kind of silly on their part. So let's let them fail that attack and then we'll do our own attack. And see if we can't win this. Give some assistance with the infantry. It looks like that should be a victory. Yeah. So we'll win that, and uh, now we want to integrate Iceland. So I have been told by multiple people that there is a focus that Iceland has that can result in them uh, becoming like a subject of the Americans, even if they're already a subject and you don't have any say in it. And so we might want to get them annexed uh, as soon as we can. And so let's want to work on that. That's going to be 60 little power, so it is cheaper than Finland or Denmark. Obviously, Finland would be super helpful. Now, we no longer have to garrison that, but we're, not, we're also not getting the manpower and all the factories and stuff here. So, Finland is probably the next best place, rather than Denmark. All right, so still winning this attack here. Make sure this is all in this same air zone. It's in this one here. So we do have uh, some planes flying overhead. So we're good to go there. And they're not challenging us either. All right, so we're starting to run low on infantry. Yeah, just not having enough. Uh, we am gonna attack here real quick. Get a victory there. We still have to take this supply hub though, so let me do an attack here, see if that's enough, it's not. So we're gonna have to wait until another infantry unit gets here. But yeah, we'll get this victory here real quick. And then have this guy come over this way. Looks like they're going to uh, retake that location. That's surprising. All right, so we need to attack here again. Oh, they're actually gonna fail there, just barely. All right, so once this tank gets over here, we're actually gonna have to rotate troops in. Oh, that's a shame. They brought another unit. So let's let him weaken himself on a stupid attack. And then we'll do this attack here. We'll send in multiple units. And then we'll have to wait for this tank unit to uh, rest up here. And let's rotate infantry down so that they get in there. And then they, yeah, we'll let this tank rest up before we send them into the city. Might not even be necessary because it seems like we're going to get the victory there. And so that's the supply hub we'll need to keep our troops supplied here. 
Yeah, that should be good to go. Let's make sure it's connected to the rail system. It is. All right, so now we no longer have any supply issues outside of this little area here. But it's not too bad. So we're, we're looking good on supply now. All right, fantastic. That's really what I wanted to secure there. All right, so now we want to see if there's anywhere we can maybe cut off some troops and destroy them. Now, we are defending up along a couple rivers here. Yeah, we got a river there. Yeah, for the most part, it's just up along here, this side. And so anywhere we attack over there, you're giving up the uh, the river bonus. And of course, having to attack across a river. Now, we have all the these allied troops over here, but they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there, eating up supply, and not really helping us uh, push the front forward. Now, we can see the German divisions are all really weak, lacking neither equipment or manpower. Uh, manpower is likely a massive issue for the Germans. We killed, I mean, I guess we can we can pop in there real quick and just see how well we've done against Germany. So we've now taken a lot more casualties ourselves uh, at 35,000 because of this uh, offensive we've done. If you remember, we were at like 15,000 casualties before, so we lost 20,000. So a considerable number, but we have killed 551,000. So yeah, not... Not too bad. Uh, I think that's only like 100,000 more, though. I mean, that's 100,000 life, so obviously that's considerable. But when you consider what we had before, 15,000 for 400-something thousand, kill-death ratio on this offensive has definitely been uh, not as good as it was when we were sitting there defending forts, as you'd expect. Uh, but then you have lost 7.09 million. That is considerable. Most of those to the Soviets. The British have killed quite a few as well. Denmark has lost 82,000 while killing... 178,000. So yeah, doing very well here. They've uh, lost quite a few more than we have. So is France losing territory? Seems like they've been losing some. They're 39% towards capitulation currently. But yeah, they have taken huge casualties, guys. That is considerable. So is our side. I think a lot of that's the British have lost 1.63, but I think a lot of that is the Soviets, 4.58 million. So let's just take a look at how much manpower the, the Germans even have left. So they are now on all adult serve. So they're getting a lot of manpower from that. But look at those huge penalties they get. The construction speed, factory and dockyard output, and the training time. And then how much manpower do they have left? So two to three million. So that's a lot, obviously. But, I mean, they don't have anything left to get. I mean, you can do scraping the barrel, but that's 5% extra for even more significant penalties. I mean, they're pretty much done for, guys after that couple million that they lose. So this must be, rather than manpower shortages, must be equipment shortages due to all the casualties they take. It's, it's a lot easier to change up your conscription laws and get some manpower than it is to fix the massive number of uh, equipment shortages or, or losses they likely been taking uh, as they lose these battles. Uh, so we get that. Uh, so now we need to get one of these two here. Neither one are going to help us right now, but this is for rockets, missiles and stuff. Well, this one is going to be for the jet technology. We'll go for that one. Uh, but again, neither is going to help us. We just need to get it so we can get the uh, the research bonus. Just such a shame. They make you research all that just to get your, your fifth research slot. Yeah, we're just sitting on the defensive right now. I'm trying to find a good spot to... I mean, we could just keep pushing forward, but the front's going to get so big we won't be able to defend it. We don't have enough troops here. So that's what I'm worried about most. And uh, we did finish up the annexation of Iceland. All right, excellent. Um, so we're probably just going to get rid of all their troops here just for the manpower. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and we get control of all their goodies here. So that's nice. Is that all the troops they had? They just had those two units. But we did get some more manpower from that. And so let's go ahead and get some more units training up. So we're going to deploy those tanks here. We're about to get those uh, fully trained up so we can put them into this army here. Still letting these marines train. And we need more regular infantry, I feel. And also if we can get the marines, we will. So let's get them out there, train it up. And then maybe one or two of our regular infantry. Do need to get rid of all these here. Yeah, probably just the one for now. Again, just trying to manage our our manpower. Also, we need more fuel. 
So we will trade with, we're still trading with our enemies in Iran. Okay, let me stop trading with the enemies. We'll trade with uh, somebody else. And we were only doing that because we didn't have to spend convoys, but now we do have to spend convoys, obviously. And uh, we'll trade with somebody else, like an actual ally, uh, like the UK here. So we'll give them three factories. And then I suppose the United States is gonna have to provide the rest of the fuel that we need. And just keep on declining these requests for us to join their, their conflicts that we don't care about. We only care about the situation here. Uh, so we did get a destroyer done. So we do now have the, the numbers a little bit better here. Still not up to 20, but we're up to 15 screens. So it's, it's a little bit better. So let's go ahead and put that destroyer there and then this submarine into here. All right, excellent. So I think they've pulled out of the Baltic again because we haven't really seen anything happening here. We haven't been sinking in their submarines or any of their convoys. But yeah, we need more troops over here. And so we're gonna wait till we get these tanks done and then we'll launch another offensive. We could take like uh, this area here because it's not really much of a difference. I, I suppose you have this one fort here, but you also got a fort there, so. But yeah, you could easily beat these guys if we wanted to. But what I'd like to do is start pushing this way now. And so we're gonna have to get across there, which here is gonna be very difficult. So it's probably gonna be better to go here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's move the tanks to this location. And we will be getting more divisions over there as well. Three more divisions. Let's hope that they can uh, get over here safely and not get destroyed along the way. We have those ships that can help out if we get engaged. Well, we did get uh, another trait for our tanks. So we have two choices here. Lighter materials, which grants uh, production resource penalty reduction, which we don't really have issues with those particular resources or the plus fibers and armor from the armor hardening process, and that's the one we want to get. Let's go and update that. And then we'll update our tanks here. Now, we do need to get the next medium tank here. So I haven't done that yet. But I mean, there's so many things we need. So that's why we're working on trying to get that fifth research slot open, because there's just uh, such a shortage there. All right, so let's go ahead and do this attack. Uh, we could wait for those guys to get here, but I think the, the tanks can do it on their own, these two tanks. I also hope they don't get uh, distracted by some enemy submarines. Uh, we got the advanced ship torpedo launcher. All right, excellent. So we don't need this. This is just a passive bonus. So I think we're done here with the naval tax for now. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many other things we need to get. So let's go and get the 1943 tanks. We'll get that researched. All right, so should get the victory here. And this is the way we'll go since we want to avoid the river, uh, the river penalty if we can. All right, so now we want to keep on pushing forward, take advantage of our momentum here. Do we have, no, we do not have enough troops. So what you got to do is stop defending this area here. Hmm. Because we got all these allied troops on this side that will defend. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. So let's pull this back like so. And then we'll create another front just to defend like right here. Like that. And just kind of leave this opening here for our allies to defend. And that'll allow these troops to move over this way. Because we just don't have enough infantry here, guys. Just not enough infantry. So yeah, trying to get the win there. Looks like we should get it. And we're getting more tanks coming as well. And so that's really going to help our offensives when we have more tanks. And then we're going to try and cut off the troops here. And we're just going to push forward. And I know they can cut us off. But I'm not too worried about it. We've got time to get other troops over here. And we don't need to cover this location here. But we will allow the tanks to go over there. 
just so somebody gets there quickly. We did get the uh, mechanized equipment one. All right, excellent. So that's going to help out our tanks because it gives the, the hardness for the, the motorized. We're not going to get that right now. There's too many other things we need. Let's go for this. The infantry anti-tank two. So they might not have the tanks. Maybe we should get the land night attack. Because like they have tank units, as you can see, but I imagine that they're short on all types of equipment, obviously, but particularly the tanks. So we have two choices down here. Soft attack or breakthrough, but what both of those are going to get a production cost increase. Well, you can get right through here without, without that. So that's what we'll get. And then we need to update these, not to mechanized. Okay, so we want to make sure, yeah, that that's updated. And then get that. There you go, beautiful. All right, so what is it we got? We got the floating harbors, I see. See if we've got any ships done. We got another submarine. All right, so we'll be creating, we'll just keep these in the, in reserve for right now. All right, so should have these guys over there in time. Let me just double check. We're at 23 hours currently. They get there in 17, so yeah, they will get there before uh, we get cut off over here. And then we're gonna want to go ahead and have these units push forward. That'll cut off these troops here. Now you gotta get somebody here. So they'll get there in 22 hours, so can't allow them to uh, to do that. Oh, you know, let's support this. Let me just pay attention to this. We might need to do an attack here. Uh, these guys should actually go ahead and do an attack. And then we'll have this army go up this way. And then let's see if we can't push forward up along the, the coast here now while... Yeah, we'll do that. And we can also attack across the river if we have to. I'd prefer not to do that. If we can avoid it. And these guys should just be able to take all this over. Let me see how these guys are looking on training. Okay, so they're trained up just about enough. We're going to let this guy get to the regular, but we will not wait for those two. And then we'll do this invasion over here. And again, we'll just be pulling these uh, lines over here and allowing our allies to defend this. I might even get rid of this one as well. But yeah, we got to make sure we don't uh, let these guys get out here. All right, so those guys are now defending. Excellent. And so we don't really need these guys here anymore. Let's have this get extended like so. And then, see how we want to do this. Let's attack right here. And these guys go this way and he will support that attack. Alright, so we did win here as well. Right, excellent, so we're very close to taking Berlin now. That's worth a lot of points. So it's helpful for us to get that. For, you know, the peace treaty. We did sink our first German surface ship, a destroyer. I know it's not much, but uh, something notable. Uh, we also have dockyards and uh, military factories that we've seized from over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure we get these assigned. Uh, who do we need the most? Medium tanks, that's what I was thinking. So we'll put all of our factories into that. And then the dockyards probably need more destroyers. So let's get another destroyer line. Let me just double check if there's anything that we got here. We got the torpedoes, didn't we? Okay, so what we need to do is set them up to only build one more. Then get this updated here. And I believe that's it. That's all we have. Yeah, I think that's all we've got that needs to be updated. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we're going to want to build two lines of these. Put them over here and then get one more. Since we're going to be getting that one done soon. There we go. Alright, so that looks good. Obviously we don't need uh, this many dockyards, but uh, we'll get more that we'll be taking from the Germans here. Now let me just see if anybody's got any like traits. No, not yet. Just want to keep our eyes on that. So we're making sure we're getting any any extra bonuses we can. 
All right, let's go and take this location and go ahead and push forward here. And we will move these tanks over this way. Need more infantry over here. I feel like they probably got this secured. Yeah, let's go ahead and move all of our troops over here now, guys. And just start focusing on areas where our allies are not assisting us, which it seems they will not defend our territory for whatever reason. They're only defending Holland. Okay. Can't defend my territory for me? Apparently not. All right, so we're getting attacked there, but we should hopefully get these guys cut off here soon. Send this tank unit over here. We're also winning here, so let's go ahead and push forward. And, hmm. Yeah, he's probably gonna get out, so I don't see any way that we get around him in time since we have to defend here. Might lose that as well. Just waiting for, there we go, we got it. So now we just need to let them get their organization back up, and then we're gonna do that invasion over here. Could also change where we do the invasion. I'd like to take this here, if we can. Not really that necessary at this point though, since we are having such, uh, such success over here. Still need to get Berlin, guys, so let's uh, keep a tank over here for attacking that way. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's do this attack here, and then we're gonna get across the river here. In fact, let's go ahead and attack here. All right, so let's cut this off. That worked out nicely, and I almost don't even want to use the Marines for this now and just instead attack across here. Hmm. Yeah, because then you're not getting a port. Okay, so this is what we're going to do with these Marines now. Because, yeah, clearly this is not really as necessary. We won't get rid of it. Let's just give them a front here. And have them instead focus on getting across here. Since we know that the regular infantry can't really do it, they, they struggle uh, to win there. And then here you gotta deal with forts that we built, so uh, yeah, it's clearly better to attack from this location. So bring all those marines over here, because they'll do much better attacking across the, uh, the straits. All right, so now we need to, let's see how we wanna do this. All right, so we have too many troops coming over here. We don't need a bunch of these. Just a few. These guys are already moving here. So I want to adjust them. And try and get the win there eventually. But we also want to take Berlin, so... Alright, we're going to take that just because we can. Do we want to let this one unit leave here in 19 hours? Oh, he's going the other way now. Can't figure out which way he wants to go. Okay. All right, so taking that location. Clearly have overstretched our front to a degree. All right, so we're gonna leave this as is for now. But yeah, they could easily cut us off over here. So let's move this unit over here, just in case we need to. Yeah, because we did lose that, so they could easily cut us off now. He will get there in 19 hours. Okay, so we need to come back here then. And then attack across. Just until we can get some other units over here. Or get this guy back. Which is just a matter of hours. There we go. Okay, so that'll work out nicely. Uh, finally starting to see some support here on our own uh, territory. From our allies. About time. It's kind of been ignoring us. Alright, so let's go and do this attack. Let's see if we can have some success now with the Marines, which they should do much better. And what we could do is take these guys and have them come over here to provide uh, bombardment support. I know they're exposed because they don't have any screens, but uh, I'm not too worried about it because they're all cruddy ships anyways. All right, so yeah, we still need to go after, I don't know if that guy's done, don't do that. I'd prefer to cut these guys off if we can. 
and this got all messed up, didn't it? <laughs> Look at this. What a mess. Alright, so let's just redo it. Give them a, a line as well. And then give this army a front. Sure, the green army has a front, but we might just get rid of this anyways. Yeah, we'll just get rid of both of these, since that was where our old area was. And let's get these guys one as well. Alright, so... That seems good. We're still trying to get over here. And so we need to take Berlin, just waiting for it to be undefended, which now it looks really good. We should be able to take that location now, and then come up around here. That's the plan. And let's go and bring a tank to assist in that so we can get across here. And let's go and also attack across this river now. And just start attacking everywhere. Lock those guys down so they can't get out. That's the plan. Tank's coming up over here as well. Support that attack. And then let's see if we can't defend that location. Or leave these guys here and have them come over here. Yeah, we'll do that. And then they can support that attack. We got more uh, infantry coming over here as well. And let me see if I can't get like up behind these guys. By winning here, here, and then surrounding that one unit. Uh, the troops were successful now that we gave them the, the troops we needed, the, the Marines. And so we should be able to now get across here. And we just need to take that port and then their only evacuation is these two ports. Alright, so let's go ahead and get uh, these guys destroyed now. We did cut off uh, three divisions currently. So go ahead and keep that attack up. We've got control of Berlin, so Germany's capital is in our hands. So yeah, having a lot of success now, guys. Quite a bit of success. It is unfortunate that we're not seeing enough uh, allied support up along here. Would be nice if they gave us a little bit more support than what they are. Alright, so once we take this here, then that unit will be cut off so we can try and get them destroyed. Maybe the allies are bitter because I'm not helping them in their conflicts. Yeah, maybe that's... They feel like they're not going to help me because I'm not helping them enough. I suppose it makes sense. Alright, so let's gonna get those guys wiped out. Alright, these guys coming over to this front. Excellent. And uh, let's go and take a look and see what we might need to do with the, the planes. Because we have another airbase here. And so let's actually move these planes a bit closer. Although there's not a lot of space because the British and Americans have put, put planes in the region. You know, we have this location, so let's move to Berlin instead. That makes sense. Uh, and then we can also take a look at our planes that are training. Yeah, we can get more out there. For bombing purposes. And let's also come over here now and start bombing, just in case they got anybody in that area. So that looks pretty good. And then we do need to give them some fighter support over there. Let's put them out there. We've got a good number of planes in the Denmark region, so not too worried about that. So might want to bring some more fighters over here. I don't know where the German Air Force is. Maybe they don't have fuel. But we can see that the Germans are losing on all fronts. Yeah. Not looking good anywhere. Invasion of France is proceeding successfully. But we're coming from the southern front rather than coming from Normandy, as in history. It's a very different situation there. So yeah, this will result in this division cut off so we can go ahead and get him destroyed. And then yeah, we'll just keep on pushing forward here. It seems like they were attempting to bring some units over here. There still are, actually. So there's troops in the sea right now. Yeah, you can see them there. So we're about to get to the cap on air experience. So let's go ahead and spend the air experience here because we do have research bonuses. Now, none of these are actually helpful for us. 
Because we're not doing strategic bombing and we're not doing interception either. There's one more thing we can get here. So might as well. So that's all of the air doctrines, guys. So we are done with that. So air experience has no more use to us unless we were to get paratroopers, which we'd have to take that one decision before we could do that, which, yeah, I don't see the point. We also have factories we need to get signed, and it seems the medium tanks are still our main issue. But we have 15 factories going towards that. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll sign more. All right, so we need to start advancing across here. Let's go ahead and send everything we got across while the tanks keep pushing forward. And these guys are going to have to stay here, clearly. Let's get rid of this front here. It's not necessary. Neither is that one. All right, so we'll have to, to wait to push any further forward. Let's concentrate on getting this territory finished up. Just kind of stay on the defense for now. What we could do is send another tank up there. So I can get it done a little bit quicker. So we have gotten across here, though it is all messed up. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we'll take uh, both of these two units here. Put them over here so we can get rid of this. Jeez, I don't know. This is all messed up, isn't it? Yeah, let's just get rid of all these. Kind of a mess here. Because, yeah, we want these guys on this front here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, excellent. So now we have the Marines over here. And they need a front. And then we'll get rid of this one. There we go. Just make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Well, you do got to get that conquered. So this is what we'll do. We'll put uh, this unit over here. Have them go that way. And go ahead and start taking this territory over. All right, so just start pushing them back now. And just grab all this territory. Still defending here as well, so they do keep trying to bring troops into that port location. And we can't even get out of there. We're doing this battle currently. Uh, we've, yeah, they're engaging our ships here. And so we sunk four of their destroyers there. I see, so this was a full on naval battle here where we were trying to sink convoys and then their fleet came out to defend the convoys and then our fleet came out to attack theirs. So that's what happened there. All right, so let's go ahead and push forward here and here. These guys are all pretty weak right now. All right, let's not let these guys evacuate. Let's just defeat them. And then these ones up here are going to be destroyed. They have no ports. Oh, let me take that back. They got a port up here. All right, so we have one there. Excellent. Let's go and take the uh, tanks and bring them back down here. Don't need this uh, front anymore. So get rid of that. And then all the this army here, let's bring them down here. The Marines can finish this up. All right, so Denmark is back under our control, guys. Excellent news there. And it looks like this unit here is uh, finishing up for us, but we'll go make sure. Well, they got it done. All right, excellent. All right, so Denmark is back in our hands. We did sink three submarines there, one there, one submarine and a destroyer there, and something else over here. Two more convoys there. So the Germans do not have much coastline here now of their own. They have this still. And they're getting pushed back slowly. Okay, so we need to do naval invasions over here, is what I'm thinking. Like, right over here. That's going to be our next place. Though I don't know if we would have get it done before the Soviets get over here. Just a matter of how quickly they move. Thus far, they've been really slow in this area. But that should be our next order for these Marines. Is to do a naval invasion. I'm thinking right there, honestly. Yeah, let's do the naval invasion Oops. right here and attack that port. See if we can't get control of that. Order. All right, this guy's almost done training. We'll put him into that army. 
Still got these tanks training up too. And so now we need to decide where we want to advance. I kind of want to advance up this way. I don't want this going into to Polish hands. So yeah, I think naval invasions are the best way to go. I suppose we're going to work on cutting off troops and, and uh, destroying them. So we got like a good point here where you could cut off these guys. And so we need to have our tanks separated in two separate armies, like a two-pronged attack. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So some of them are going to be over here. So we're going to get rid of this just to make it a little clear what we're doing. And then we're going to create a new front over here. But yeah, we don't have a river or anything here. So yeah, we'll, we'll create it right here. And then have them, we can actually attack from two areas here. And then give them an order as well. So I'm thinking three over here and then two over here. We'll do this attack to try and cut off some divisions. Still have to defend this entire front. We're not getting any assistance from the allies. We are sinking troop convoys here, or at least engaging them. All right, so we'll get all our troops in place and then we'll do those attacks. We'll have these Marines coming up over here to do this and we'll see how successful they are in that endeavor. Uh, that will take them a little while to get it trained. We'll see if we, we have time to train these guys. I don't really want to wait for them. And frankly, with 31 days, the Soviets might be over here already. So what we should probably do is get a second invasion planned for right here. We probably want to do that. Yeah, I guess here's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. And we can even put one on there just in case we want to switch over and just so I can easily see it there. But we'll eventually send all six here, I think. Uh, but if the Soviets get too far, then we'll just go after Riga. So we're doing these invasions for a few reasons. So first of all, we'll get rid of the uh, coastline here for the Germans so they won't have any ports to repair. And uh, frankly, I don't think they'll be able to get through here either, so it means we can just sink the rest of their fleet. But in addition to that, remember this is all Soviet territory here. And they're in a separate faction, so therefore we'll be occupying it. And then it'll be available in the peace treaty. And so we can try and uh, get control of this in the peace treaty. I don't know if we'll have points for it, but we will try. Because I want to get as much territory as we can in that peace treaty. Uh, as of right now, we have 11% of the total war participation. Our, our casualties are at 38,000. So not bad, considering all the success we've had since we last looked at this. And then looking at the casualties of the Germans, they've taken almost 8 million now. We have caused 789,000. So pretty good kill-death ratio, guys. Not bad at all. Yeah, very, very good, actually. So a lot of success against the Germans. We killed almost a million men here in today's episode. And yeah, you see their numbers just mounting. Well, ours are not doing so bad at this point. Looks like the Soviets have still caused the majority of those casualties, 4.8. Well, the UK has done 1.2 million. We easily have more field of manpower than their side does. Remember, Japan is still at war as well. And we haven't really taken a look at the situation here. It seems they're having a lot of success now. Yeah. Okay. So the Allies are going to need to focus more and more on that theater. Um, then also there's this new theater here in the Middle East that's opened up. And so you got uh, multiple fronts over there. Here's the Greek situation. Here's what's happening over here in France. Yugoslavia. So lots of fronts currently open up. And frankly the Germans are just overstretched. Only one to two divisions in each province, which really kind of opens it up for our own offensives. So we'll keep on pushing here, get more and more of Germany under our control and get more and more war participation while also launching this invasion here. Uh, we do need, we need more troops. That's uh, that's for sure. And now I'm seeing that we might be able to get a trait here. Yeah, we got infantry experts, so we're gonna get that. I don't think anybody else has any traits to get, but maybe our admirals do. Which we have some submarines. Okay, so we'll probably put another task force out there. So it seems that he has leveled up multiple times. We got him up to skill three now. None of these are that helpful for us because this is our fleet with the, the battleships. He's not moving towards any other uh, traits though, so could do the Lancer. I mean, it does help uh, for the destroyers. It's not completely useless, so I guess we'll get that. Yeah, frankly, I'd prefer that we were getting something else, uh, like with the superior tactician. Or maybe the iron side. 
if he was uh, earning experience towards that, which you see he has not really. 12 and 19. Uh, so really isn't making any uh, progress towards getting those, unfortunately. Oh, what about this Admiral? No, he does not have uh, any other traits. He's level 5 currently. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. We'll have to move all our planes in the next one. Yeah, because we got these guys all in, in areas they don't, they don't really need to be anymore. So you need to move on to the, the fronts here and then also to support us on this naval invasion as well as uh, get these guys out to the fronts. So yeah, we'll do that next episode. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comments. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.